Hi, this is Dylan Herricks from Mac Tuts Plus. In this video, I'll be talking about Voila, a fairly new screen capturing tool from Global Delights. To get the app, you'll just want to go to the App Store and search Voila, as it's spelled here. Notice the icon is a camera lens with a pencil going through it, so just look for that and you'll be on the right track. Now, the app is $29.99, so bear that in mind. Hopefully, this video will help you decide if you want to spend that money to buy the app. Once the app is installed, you'll just want to launch it from either Launchpad or Spotlight. And you'll see that in this main pane is the most recent screenshot that I've taken. At the bottom, there are a variety of thumbnails of past screenshots that I've taken. And on the left is the Organizer, Tools, and Effects menu. So under the Organizer pane, you can look at all your images, all your videos, or your trash as well as set up some smart collections, which are folders organized by criteria. So if you want to find, for instance, all the screenshots that you've taken on a certain date or that you've attributed a certain tag to, then you might create a smart collection folder for that. At the top are the different types of tools that Voila offers, and on the right side are the ways to either share or print those screenshots or videos you make. Now, one nice thing about Voila is that it comes with a wonderful menu bar application. So if I go ahead and minimize this, you'll notice that this reticle has been added to the menu bar since I opened Voila. So once I click that, you'll see that I have many of those same options that were in the app itself at my disposal on the menu bar for uh, just a quicker way to access them. So if I click capture full screen, for instance, it's going to give me a nice shutter sound and instantly open that screenshot I just took in Voila. So if I go ahead and minimize that again, and this time I want to use the menu bar and say capture selection, you'll notice that the screen dims and I can choose something on the screen by clicking and dragging and once I let go then that will be what the screenshot is composed of. Now you'll notice that while this is similar to OS X's built-in application called Grab, uh, Grab will actually snap the picture right after you let go of the mouse and so one nice thing that's different about Voila is that after you make your selection you can actually still drag the corners to resize that selection. So oftentimes when you're doing screenshots, you need to get right on the edge of something. And this selection tool makes it easier to do that. So let's say I'm going to select this area in the middle. Uh, once I've clicked and dragged, I can just click the camera icon in the top right to snip that. Now the one below it is actually a timed capture. So if there's something I needed to highlight or if I needed to move my mouse somewhere in here uh, to highlight something I could do that but I'm just going to click the camera and once again I get that nice shutter sound and here's my selection captured. Now the next thing on the menu bar list is capture object and this is actually a really nice tool for capturing something like an application window or a dialog box. So if I go ahead and open something like system preferences and I want to take a screenshot just of this dialog box. I can actually click that capture object selection and you'll see that when I hover over this box for system preferences, it becomes a faded blue color denoting that I'm going to select this and then I get this camera icon on the screen that I can just click and once again I have the option to immediately take the screenshot or a brief timed shot. So. If I just click the camera, you'll see that it once again opens in voila and it's just the dialog box without any cropping or anything like that. The last one on the screenshot side of things in the menu bar is capture menu. Now this is actually a really nice feature, but it operates a little differently than the others. So if I click this, you'll see that it says select a menu and press shift command M to select it. So I'm going to just click go here on the top on the finder menu and if I do shift control M you'll see that it highlights this once again like it did with the object and it instantly snaps this menu. Now this is a really nice feature that is not part of any other tool I've seen yet 
And the, the nice thing about this is that usually when you snap a menu for a screenshot, you have to snap the selection on the screen with a timed capture and then crop everything out later and uh, just go through a bunch of extra hoops in order to do so. With this, it gives you a nice clean selection and the background you'll see is actually transparent so you don't even have to worry about what's uh, to the right or left of this menu on the menu bar. Now another thing I want to talk about with the images or screenshots that you take with Voila is that there's actually a decent set of editing tools that come with the app. So over here on the left you just want to click on tools which is to the right of organizer and you'll see that there are some editing tools such as blurring you can add text or shapes as well as you can paint or use a pencil tool and then there's also a menu of effects so if you want to add a filter you can do that here or if you want to spotlight something you can actually do that which means the rest of the image dims and then you can just highlight one selection so there's actually a nice set of tools here that allow you to edit and add effects to the images you capture without opening another application such as Photoshop or iPhoto. Next on the list is talking about the web ability of Voila. So Voila actually ties in with Chrome or Safari in the sense that if you're surfing with let's say Safari and you want to take a capture of a website you're on such as Tuts Plus you can actually just click the menu bar app and say open current URL in Voila. And here you'll see that Voila comes with a sort of mini browser that it opens these web pages in. And within this mini browser you can take a snip of the current web page. You can click this to do a selection of the current web page. Or you can actually use this third box to select the DOM elements of the page. So if you actually want to choose certain objects on the web page, you can do so just by hovering over them. Now you'll notice that I'm able to even select multiple objects at once and if I do that and then click snap, then what that actually does is create individual snaps of each of those that I've chosen. So if I say that I'm done and I go back to the organizer, you'll see that here are individual snaps of those selections I made on the web page. Likewise, if you're just surfing the internet and you decide that you want to snap this entire page without going into Voila's mini browser, then you can just click the reticle on the menu bar and click Snap Active Browser URL. And that will actually snap the entire web page to Voila. So here is the long form version snapped of uh, Mac Tuts Plus. Now it's not perfect as you can see it left out some of the icons for these articles because they are further down the page but it does actually snap the length of the page versus what just shows up on my computer screen. So that is a nice feature. Lastly let's talk about recording your screen. To record you can select the record button from either the app itself or from the menu bar with record full screen or record selection. Record selection, just as it sounds, means that you can actually choose a part of the screen that you want to record from and it will only record what is happening within that area of the screen. Now when I make the selection to record a video, it actually gives me just a couple options, which are where do I want the audio to come from and do I want to highlight mouse clicks. So highlighting mouse clicks means that if I click during the video recording, then when the recording is actually finished, it will add a small ripple effect to when I click. So if I go ahead and click record now, you'll see that it gives me the 3 to 1 countdown, and now it will actually record only what is happening within this black box that I selected earlier. So when I'm done with my recording, I can preview it here and voila or I can export it out. Now Voila doesn't offer the richness and tools for recording videos as some other products. So if you do a lot of screen video recording versus screenshots, then I don't know that Voila is the correct application for you. But it does have that basic functionality built in. So if you just need to do a screen recording every now and then, it may suffice. 
the preferences for the voila video features are pretty sparse as well. You have the option to choose what frame rate, low, medium, or high, and then choose the compression type, either H.264 or JPEG. So it's fairly basic, but it can get the job done in a pinch. So that is voila. Thanks for watching.